Dakota standing by and meet one of the stars in Mind Cage. Mind Cage. Uh, Neb Chupin's joining us right now to talk to us about it. Now, Neb, we, 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 we kind of hinted about you. you used to be an engineer. Not only an engineer, oh, yeah. but you worked for like yes, MIT in the plasma fusion <laughs> business. What's harder, breaking into acting or plasma fusion? I think acting is, is much tougher for me. <laughs> <laughs> now, what made you decide to make a career change like that? I don't know. I was bored. <laughs> uh, I needed to offload my soul. I mean, you know, it's so much pressure all the time. And then when I went to the acting class, I felt like, wow, I can, I can become somebody else. And it was amazing. Then I decided I want to do that. That is amazing. I decided I want to wait around for 24 hours to have one minute of a time. <laughs> See, that, I think this is a lesson we can all learn, because sometimes, like, you go on one path, but you realize what you really want to do, but sometimes people don't take that leap. You know what I'm saying? Like, you took the leap, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I did. I mean, it took a while. I mean, it's a long, it's a long road, still going, but uh, still going. I'm happy with where I am. Okay, so you're in a new film. It's called, it's called Mind Cage with the great yes. John Malkovich. I have a picture of you and really? John Malkovich together, uh, which looks like you guys got a little chummy there. Did you get chummy with John Malkovich? What is he like in person? Is he really intense? No, he's very nice. He's very nice. He, uh, he, talks, he talks with everyone. and I mean, with us in the room, but close people. And then he gives advices in the, when we're shooting in the, in the room with camera and everything. <clears throat> and then uh, he's really uh, into his character, really, really. You know, he brought that wig that was like thirty thousand dollars. He brought from Germany, and he's like, okay, I, you know, he's really taking seriously that role. So, um, I mean, the whole movie is him basically. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? What is the movie yeah. about? What What is Wine Cage about? Uh, it's a detective story, right? Mm. It's it's a rookie female, Melissa. I mean, in the movie, and um, and the the Martin Lawrence, he's like older cop, and she's basically trying to figure out who is killing all these girls, right? People, <clears throat> and then they go to to the jail and they find out that there's that guy who used to do the same thing. He's called artist, and then they try to figure out who is really doing this. And uh, the artist, the jo John Malkovich, he, he's very much, he, he didn't want to tell him anything, you know. He got him on the road, he put him on the, on the, on the wrong trail. He really had him around, it, around his finger for a long time until she figured things out and then, and then she resolved the case. Um, there you go. Um, there you go. This sounds interesting. I cannot wait to watch it, my friend. Uh, do you have another project coming up you want to tell us about? Is there anything? Uh, yeah, I have the Islander, which is I've been waiting, wait, uh, working for five years. It's an apocalyptic fantasy. Uh, this is going to be a really big movie. Um, you know, it's still wait, working on a thousand CGI shots. We have Whoa. a lot of shot, uh, shots like that. I would say it's a, it's a mini Marvel. You know, so we'll see how it comes out. Uh, it's going to be done in like five six months. We're in post production. <clears throat> Fantastic! Cannot wait to see it. And thank you for inspiring my engineers. They have all quit today. They want to make their way to Hollywood now. <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> okay, Have a good one. Thank you for having me. Bye, Deb. Have a good day. All right, back to you, Tina. Thank you. The center is making sure our first responders are ready for whatever comes their way. Molly got a hands-on look at the 